So yeah, so the George Campillo, so I, I answer him because of the hat, because of the bent, bent over, he was bent, and uh, the glove, and I said, because of the glove, and I'm saying, why am I saying it twice? That was it. The hair was not mentioned, uh, and I won't say it more because it seems like uh, this is, okay. And uh, I to George Campillo, and uh, congratulations on the win. You know, make sure you're good, uh, try to be a good Christian, and good luck to you uh, without sarcasm, and uh, good luck to you in your spiritual faith uh, with Jesus our Lord Christ. Since I'm thinking, I'm taking the liberty to think that you're Catholic and Christian, and uh, so. So this, this seems like it was the past, and that's why even I couldn't remember immediately why. But when I went already one hour in the streets. But it seems like God told me after the dream with the bear, he said, share. And uh, it seems like I might share also the other ones of this week that was also had to be with sports and in the future. So, uh, uh, you know, I'm inviting you guys. Uh, I'm gonna do the other ones I'll, that I was missing this week, and uh, keep keep tuning in, and keep 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 looking, and uh, subscribe to this channel. Uh, I I went out for the liking, but I uh, might be put in back because people started to like the videos uh, more and more. Uh, you know, I went uh, like like. Uh, like a lot a lot more subscription despite it's like what about uh, 145 now but I went from month 80 to 155 and without without on the go uh, not a good good looking guy <laughs> talking about Jesus with swearing in well sometimes in a camera and uh, without no artificial stuff and uh, you know, no program. I'm pretty happy for now. It was a good month, and somebody, somebody sent me also somebody. I think I mentioned it. Uh, thanks again for uh, what was his name? Uh, God doesn't want me to to tell him, but there was just one guy who sent me twice. Thanks to you, man. Uh, you know, thanks a lot. And uh, it, it might be a change, but uh, it, it it caused more. Uh, more love than uh, the meaning of but you know I'm pretty sure it's it's helping and and this is what I realize is that when I do it you lose you lose train so people has to especially in my case because uh, in the body of Christ I'm like when Jesus didn't spoke he was beat up so I'm beat up can't spoke at least I'm going wrong at least I'm going blind because of my eye so if I do I do expect some something in exchange because otherwise I will destroy myself and it's not good. So I have to receive something back just like a priest can work hard. And obviously sometimes people don't understand and you're losing, you're losing because you give, you give and that's called a white martyr. And I do respect that most than anybody. But when sometimes it's too much, that's why some saints went out of the window or in this world pretty pretty fast and uh, uh, unfortunately there is like a prophecy that says the end time this is gonna be called silly but uh, that's just for people who are blind and just want you know selfishness selfishness and uh, there's gotta be there's gotta be you know there's gotta be an equilibrium of the boat you know and uh, when you give, not only to get back, but if you get back, who do you represent? You got to represent uh, the truth or God. And this is recognized in Jesus Christ. If you tell me, oh, my God is this one and it's a false one, that means that you have been a liar in your research. Maybe it was not given to you, but I do believe so that you were a liar and you felt somehow because of your weakness selfishness maybe uh, you grew up in a Muslim world and you like sex earlier and in the family and all that's kind of fucking bullshit uh, now I'm almost 
you know what I mean? It's like, oh, uh, I like my culture of this false uh, gods, like Hinduism, and I like it because I got my belly full and everything is fine and it must be better because when I look at Christians, they're all confused. They divorce in family. They almost uh, turn their back to God, but they don't say it like this. They say satanic. You know, when you have the truth and you turn back to the truth, you're going to be even worse. So this is bad. This is bad. And uh, I wanted to say again what God told me about this coronavirus before I spoke about the other dreams I didn't share a week. I was in a car passenger seat like BMW my brother has but it was white not like his black one uh, by the way he bought the first one in Canada he told me 0001 many years ago so I was in the passenger seat but the, he was not driving a guy we take like one and a half spot there's another car but I see that we're taking one and a half spot I'm relaxing an Indian comes through the car I see him he looks at me he says move I say no next thing boom you bump in the back and I go forward and there's a wall that was not there before just like in this video and then I get out of the car I'm, I don't talk to him I don't see him I go see the damage and for somehow like almost superpower or God told me first to not say that back in the time but almost if I could push the car but without pushing now I could see what it was there and the damage I said there was several little spots on the left um, left eye left uh, left left uh, front light and it was a little bit bumpy uh, scaly I see that if I would do that it will gone it was little chunk inside going on little bumps going in and I said one was uh, bigger that I suddenly see that was not there and this seems and then then this change suddenly I'm in the my brother Christian which represent Christians too I, uh, and his master living room that he has now he's not there but I'm I'm inside in a certain way that I can see the door open when he goes out so I'm at the the most uh, I don't know if Cardinals uh, points like South East North uh, does matter but it will be in the South not to give too much but and then I never thought about this one but anyways the door is open and suddenly in the spirit God puts me the chocolate food and it's disgusting in the spirit you know you, you, you're not tasting a chocolate you become the chocolate and it's very disgusting and I feel like my brother or Christians are, are feeding themselves with bad food which means can be mean lies uh, doctrines and all these kind of stuff and then I, I see a plastic bag and I it's like lying there and I don't see my brother and I feel like this is what he's feeding himself and I looked in it and I see uh, three Tablerons bars triangular uh, which is from Swiss Tableron which is Nestle I was preaching the day before starting back in North York close to the Nestle thing without thinking nothing about it and the building is triangular call it illuminati i don't give a damn i didn't take my spot i do give a damn whatever god says and uh and then at the bottom there was some noodles but i could only see the top package meaning the bottom was hiding by the plastic bag will flip inside and hide something so uh and i heard share this is I think only the two times that I heard share so because of this I put in it back and yesterday I thought this is so important I wanted to share it again uh, it did it did the, uh, blow up uh, in a sense that I had some maybe views sometimes hundreds sometimes less but steady and this one jumped at that time that I was not reaching too many people since then I'm reaching a bit more but it went to a hundred pretty quick and more and I heard share so I invite also people what Jesus says to one person says to everybody so he told me to share feel, feel free to share that video and I said God showed me the title was why the coronavirus happened and in plain words why this happened this is not about being racist about Indians it's about what do they represent if it's the truth we'll be uh, for it if it's not the truth we have to be at least on our guard to not be 
do not say against you see I'm not racist I believe that uh, an Indian uh, with the truth starts to be pretty if he was ugly I believe any person that is ugly if he's following and seeing God and the Bible says see uh, you look what you like don't look at me because I haven't read my Bible for many many years despite God talking to me all the time uh, I should be an example but I'm not I that was before when I didn't show up and I was sick and uh, obviously I didn't went up because there was not helping else because by the corrupts in the church who are not talking about the truth the hell and not like the church when it grew up everybody was together putting everything together if I had grew up back in the days I would have shown oh you have this gift of prophecy you look like Jesus maybe you're called maybe there's a reason here at least you need a place to sleep here and maybe you're gonna give us something in exchange as a gift of God I lost the gift of uh, healings I got lost a lot of things like this not everybody has a good family to grow up and a chance to go and learn about the church I haven't been brought up to church to be at least a priest and go from there and have a, a minimum of a place to sleep if you're a good priest you got a place to sleep and some food that's all I, I believe should priests have all the extra should be uh, recycled into missions and that's what God it is but I didn't have even that and sick in my body and that's why we got some sick people because the church doesn't answer that's one of the reason even before because of the corruption of the church some people were sick bedding and I was what they call a suffering soul uh, with my eye and all that stuff and this is it's to compensate or a chain reaction of the other people and that's why some people they're sick kids today to compensate because some adults are sick and they're not showing their sickness in this world they're abusing people and somebody else has to pay usually it's the other side and it's the the innocents that pay for the abuse of the guilty ones until God says to that person that is enough so to share that this Indian was not representing uh, a point of racism was representing the false religion which is falsehood which hurts everybody ultimately so Jesus we know that because Jesus said the gates of hell will not prevail my church meanings nothing can put back out of the church even though she had uh, uh, good days bad days in the church by corrupt leaders or not popes anti-popes all this there was a fluctuation just like behind uh, and but when it was going out if, if God forbid this will happen the Saint Padre Pio uh, uh, before Vatican II one of the great saints with stigmata what did he say he said it's better or, or even other saints a world will run better without uh, a son than the, the sacrifice of the mass meaning Jesus given to you then there's no point because the world was given for that and before Jesus uh, people who died the just people who were in the abide of the souls uh, when God uh, Jesus died and went there God told me they didn't recognize him I made a video uh, recently about it because they didn't see him now we saw him we can think about him and we can bless and that takes away the sins that destroyed us I don't do it if I read the Bible tomorrow I'll, I'll be even more pretty I'm tired of having been pretty because I was sick because there was not a sharing receiving point because of certain corruption and other things now uh, saying this when the Indian comes he says move that means he's talking to the church to move God saying move move my church to the world no complacence by the Christian Indian comes behind bump the car the car is a white SUV means a bigger car means white cells they're bigger than the red cells you see now the analogy with red cells and Indian boom now our body has red cells just like this hurt has Indians and white the white cells are cleaning up uh, debris between cells looks intelligent and all this not saying they're more intelligent uh, ultimately is the gift of gift of God the Holy Spirit and what people did when they abused that Holy Spirit and God they talking about they went against God and used that uh, gift and those truth to see it and then go away 
when when people don't know usually they strive to see it but when you know it and then you're like okay let me do something else now i don't have to look for the truth <coughs> then bad stuff and then then you got philosophy of the so-called light uh, the light uh, what they call it the century and all this stuff and those philosophy and they get worse and worse they start with the reason and then they get worse to whatever communists putting the church away uh, Nietzsche God, uh, God has died and all kinds of bullshit like this and, uh, and it gets satanic to this day so and then when he bumped I heard share so this is the reason why uh, coronavirus happened it's because now even in the new world almost like if God was saying okay you know what Jesus said when, when the gospel is going to be preached all over the world soon it's going to be the end now you see there was the new world it's almost as if the white guy or anybody in the european or everybody messed up a little bit there not messed up but they restarted here too they colonized they christianized rather i like say unfortunately bad people came also with good intention missionary they screw up they even sometimes put the fault on the good ones obviously because they have the power this world uh the medias but back then to talk in governance and the power the power usually especially back then was by force sometimes brutality and we can think back uh, it started like this sometimes you know uh just like the bible said you know uh, who was the first uh, king uh, uh Arad with the babel was the father of these these chiefs kind of person so anyways so share so coronavirus happened you see now indian comes back just like the ocean from the other side bumps move no takes the place now god will not be moved from this world through a uh, religion false religion whatever it is in, in this case hinduism which is uh I, i'm not too sure which is a falsehood with demonic uh turn to god's face because for what x y reason they have in their heart to do this uh, first of all to serve them now this will not happen so what god has to do for the best on long term for people who will be saved on the long term is to slow down this cancer which is a false religion not cancer but this falsehoods that destroy people who whatever they're eight years old or five years old that wants to know and are called to be saved and i believe everybody should be called to save with god but especially the ones that have good intention not looking back in a complex sense in families and that's why sometimes you often have the poor that are safe because they're striving to get something better and sometimes the rich not always but then they complex and and sometimes they die in a corruption so-called die young i believe everybody dies or sooner or later sometimes even me you're poor you grow up and then you have enough and then you go back you fall jesus fell three times not in those stuff but when he carried the cross meaning symbolizing us and no jesus didn't sin so but he symbolized us when we have to take our cross finally he got help from other people so why don't you help this channel help a lot because eventually it just serves the final point which mine is to help people out and carry the message of jesus so it says share 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 and the third one was share to get i'm gonna share what the week i lost and i'm gonna ask god if he sometimes you know i have to keep something or so so uh this was i wanted to say and i was thinking about this again yesterday and the last day that people has to know why this coronavirus happened again it slowed down the falsehood came from india in this case and there was at the bottom almost next you know those nodules asian came from there but uh hindus here in the new world that religion not the point that it are indian but the falsehood of this religion that are threatening uh to move the church away and this is why it's happening god will protect the truth and obviously why this happened because christians are not moving the church they're complacent they're doing abortion they're not having the family they say why not me to be there i want it all selfishness so they cannot think about being a family while in the church what god says in the bible 
you know having sons and uh, and daughters early you having sons are like um, arrows to your bow and they get you in the wrong way they get you stronger your sons too well sooner you have it it says like a warrior your son comes they start to work they help you out if you fall down they help everybody and this is this is what happens they do it at the other side of the world and look now not because they're smarter necessary not because they're uh, more pure uh, uh, anything and so why this happen because people who were called and had it uh, squandered the money the white guy or anybody in the religion squandered the money through complacence complicit clergy complacence especially those now we're not even going to talk about those people who were absolutely called took those positions to say i'm going to be a light to those who has to move and don't talk and let influence from people outside and even people outside because of those started to come to destroy and they think uh, oh i have what i want in this world and that's it we're making change you're making change for your own destroy of this world with or without knowing it it's like god trying to help you out says no my son my daughter not like this and you're doing it you're getting a buck and you don't even know that you would have been richer by listening to him on the short term in this world and even outside because when you play with fire see my scar you get burned when you don't listen to god when he says something even if you think you're gonna get better you get worse because you're losing those blessings